director of Frontier Interaction, and this is the first interview from, from the balcony, from the library, sorry. The balcony was last year. So our first guest is Roberto Schone. Roberto is the president of Publicis Healthcare International. And my first question for you, Roberto, is why is healthcare, the healthcare industry, so important for the audience present here at Frontiers? Hi, everybody. I think it's very important because the e-health or whatever you touch, healthcare in digital, is all about all of us. So at the end of the day, it's all about the individual experience. And here we are talking about you know, experience design, we are talking about the architecture of the information, and all these things are keen to design any kind of healthcare-related experience, which is very close to us. It's about you know, the societies in everyday life. And, and what is the vision of publicists? What do you see unique in this industry, or what kind of trends would you, would, would you see as relevant for, for this industry? I mean, the, 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 the healthcare is basically, and health in general, and wellness, it's just uh, as we go on a daily basis, is when we eat, when we drink something, when we you know, work out. So basically, our vision is that this has to be uh, personal, has to be mobile, and has to be something that you can really kind of interact with without even thinking about. So with this, the vision is that you will be able to uh, collect and own your own data about your own health and wellness and interact with this data, with physicians, but even with friends, with you know, institutions that around you will help you to take care of your health and, and, and wellness. So the vision is to create something which is totally individual, that you own, that you can decide, you can have access to, uh, that you can decide who to share with. And in doing all of this, uh, we think this is the most important thing that is changing health and will be a complete you know, driver for the change. Okay. So yesterday morning we had a workshop on, on e-health uh, um, that you run, and which was, even though you're going to present the conclusions at the end of Frontiers today, what would be the one and, and most important thing that came out from, from the workshop? I think the most important thing that came out from a workshop, especially from a kind of you know, uh, agency and industry perspective, has been that probably yesterday we demonstrated something that you know, was an hypothesis, uh, but quite disruptive to say with Luke. The thing was that we brought in a room uh, not only designers, but content managers, but strategists from the agency, but most of all there were physicians. We had three physicians in three different topics. And then we have clients in the same room uh, and people from the conference. And all of them designed on three tables, three new ideas, new, some were apps, some others were you know, web-based services. So they designed all of this, we had sketches, and they really worked all together in a collaborative design exercise which we think is essential uh, in, the, in the way forward. And these designs will be on stage today, but in the next two days we'll be in Paris in the Doctors 2.0 conference, creating this bridge between this experience and the conference in the next couple of days. So I think that's the most interesting thing that happened for me. Okay, and one last question would be, okay, I understand that there's a huge opportunity in e-health, especially in mobile health, but there's also some hype around it, right? What would be the part that you would say it's a bit of a hype or maybe a needed hype, and what would you see as the most concrete uh, opportunity for businesses here? That's a good one. So I think the, uh, the hype part is probably, you know, the self-tracking, this, this idea of collecting data about yourself and maybe share with others which basically as a concept I think is the hype, hype part of it, but I think that the, 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 the application will be how this data will help you to basically keep going with your kind of health and wellness program and, and, and schedule through your daily activity. The most important thing in health and wellness is to be consistent with your objectives and with your plans, and this under the pressure of the daily life is not always easy actually is very, very difficult. So at the end of the day, no more than 50% of the, the therapies, the regime, the dietary regime are then followed appropriately. So the whole idea behind e-health in the most, I would say, you know, applicable and important way is how this kind of activities will really help you not to take new medicine, maybe to take less medicines, 
but to basically you know, keep going with your plans, with your program, with your schedule, without bothering you, without becoming a health machine yourself. That's, I think, it's probably the long-term, most consistent application of all this. Okay, and now moving a bit to, to Italy and the situation of Italy. You're an international company, you're a leader in the sector, and you're based in the south of Italy, which usually is considered kind of an area which is backward. So first of all, um, what is the south of Italy giving you, and are you hiring people? Yeah, well, I mean, the, the asking me this, it's, you know, for me, it's uh, just, just great because I was born in Naples and then uh, back in 96, uh, Healthware started there and then moved, uh, uh, you know, downside, downwards to Salerno. From Salerno, the company grew uh, till becoming international. Now we have offices in Germany, France, US, and, you know, it's China's next. But still we have the HQ in Salerno, Italy. And... Uh, it's funny, uh, years ago when we started to work in a, uh, abroad, they started to say, this is, a, uh, this is Publicis Healthware that comes from Salerno in the very, very, very southern Europe. And um, it's great that uh, now if you go there, you have a lot of people from different countries. Uh, I think we are the, the one person a day uh, in the kind of last uh, two weeks. And uh, each week you have somebody from all over the world you know, uh, going there. I do think there is a big uh, power uh, in Italy in general, is what I say every time, especially I go to US, but in the south of Italy particularly. Um, because I think when you start a little bit behind, you know, uh, and you need to catch up with a bigger distance, I think you have to become smarter. There's more energy, there's a, you know, a, 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 a big wish to make it happen. And that's, I think, has been a strength uh, of, of healthware in, in the early days. And we are trying to keep consistent with this, uh, keep the same spirit, you know, keeping this kind of south, you know, power and bring into Madison Avenue and all the other nice places where we have offices and great colleagues. But, you know, we are trying to keep the spirit alive. And are you hiring people? Yeah, <laughs> quite a bit. And uh, yeah, it's a good moment. I mean, agency is growing and it's, it's great. And what would be the key abilities you would look for someone to, to collaborate in with the, with the Publicis Health uh, team? I mean, we have uh, literally probably the most diverse set of talents in the same place because we have, uh, uh, you know, to start from here, experienced designers, we have information architects, but we have people expert in digital media, we have anthropologists, we have people that are proficient with content, biologists, because it's, you know, healthware, it's the crossroad between all this discipline and medicine and computer science. So we really look in very different directions. And honestly, in the years, we learned that we never knew from where the next great talent came. So we are pretty open to, you know, explore diverse talents for our crew. And on the personal side, which kind of apps or, or, or devices do you use to track and, and, and react to, to your health data? Mm, that's, a, that, that's a trick we want. I would say a few ones that, that we maybe created for, for clients. But I think that what I'm, what I'm, what I'm personally very interested in to do is to, uh, to trying to find out the, the semantic you know, opportunities that are in content with relates to health. So I'm a particularly passionate of the Flipboard, which I configure with kind of health content. Um, there are quite few formats that I think are interesting. There's a, there's a Twitter-based app which is about sharing your diet with friends and try to uh, collect recipes that are good for your dietary uh, habits. So I think all of these kind of things are things that I like quite a bit, I find quite interesting. Thank you very much, Roberto. Um, I encourage the audience to meet this guy. He's a very interesting person and maybe pitch your abilities. You never know. Thank you very much. Thanks, Roberto. Thank you, guys. See you.